Hello, members of the community. As of the recording of this video, there was a lot of bad news today. And uh, some days, especially from recent events, we find bad news in the form of a tragedy. But today we receive the bad news as a form of a human atrocity. And I don't want to date this video because the message I'm about to send, I think, transcends any one particular event, time, or place. And of course, as you know, this channel is about precious metals. Salivate metal, it's about precious metals. But you know what? As I've been here in the community, I've noticed it's a lot more about people than it is about these metals. We share a common bond with these metals, and most commonly silver, as silver is a metal that that um, anyone can obtain under any budget, under any life circumstances. No matter your ideology, most everyone loves silver and acquire it um, in one form or another. Even the gold bugs will acquire some silver from time to time. And it happens to be the one thing that unites this community. But I think there's something even, even greater than these precious metals, as awesome as they are. And that is our humanity and our love and respect for one another. And that's the focus of this message is that, you know, there's a lot of, of uh, dissension a lot of times in the community based off ideology or petty arguments or, or uh, drama and the like. But when it's all said and done, you know, we all leave the computer, log off for the evening or day or what have you. We're alive and uh, we enjoy the comforts of, uh, of home and a roof over our head. And, uh, and you know, there's, I think there's a lot of things that, that uh, unite us more than divide us. Even around the world, you know, I'm recording this video from the United States of America, but I've met a lot of great people here in the on YouTube and in the community from all over the world. And I think that should be a greater focus than on what divides us. You know, there's something special about the United States of America. And uh, I will never apologize for that. And I will always celebrate it. But I will also celebrate the, uh, the uniqueness and, uh, of each individual, no matter what nation you come from, and, uh, and the friendship and bonds that we, we celebrate. And I think that should be a focus on this day and other days, whenever there's bad things that happen. Let's uh, pray for the victims. Let's unite in our condemnation of evil acts. No matter what ideology or what uh, political motive there may be or may not be. You know, in this particular event today, uh, as of the recording of this video, there's no mo known motive yet. Um, and there may not be. You know, there was a, uh, a mass shooting that occurred in 1966 by one Charles Whitman in Austin, Texas. And uh, he wrote a note, essentially, not knowing what he was about to do or why he was about to do it. Turned out he had a brain tumor. A very rare circumstance and situation. And then there's cases where you cannot make reason from madness. And in most of the cases with these type of atrocities, you really can't. There's no logical uh, or no purpose or no reason for it uh, in any reasonable mind uh, that makes us human. It's inhuman to a lot of these actions that occur, unfortunately. Uh, horrific weather events that we've uh, witnessed recently. Another thing, why does this stuff happen? Why is it, you know, uh, uh, why, wiping out whole, com whole communities and people? It just uh, makes no sense. And there's some things we will never really fully understand um, until we um, pass on from this life and enter a new one. And for those of you who are Christians, you understand that, that there's a lot of things that, um, you know, that, that, that happen that we really can't fully explain, but we know that God is there with us in the midst of it. 
And I just pray that through these and other tragedies and atrocities, that God will be in the midst of it and will help us through it. And I pray for the victims of all the tragedies and recent atrocity here in this case, and that um, he will be lifted up and, uh, and that folks will come together and heal. That's what we need, surely. And in this community, this dark particular community here, the Precious Metals community, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, there's a lot of great people in here, a lot of giving people. I've found a lot of the most uh, uh, amazing folks in this community. And we all give in our own way, and we are also judged for it. There have seen people be judged for giving too much in this community, and others being judged for not giving enough, as if they know the hearts of those in the community and can pass those kind of judgments in the long. And I would say to those, you know, uh, to take a step back. Um, just because we collect precious metals doesn't make us uh, not, you know, generous or or make us selfish, um, and vice versa. You know, we just we, we never really uh, can. We we're not in a position, I think, to make those kind of judgments as what people do in their in their uh, uh, private life. Another matter of it as well is the. Um, in fact, that if you mention anything about a charity or organization, you are judged for being calling attention to yourself and the like, and and um, and it's a shame that it has to be in that and it has to be that way. But I think when it's all said and done, I think that the the, the uh, community here we should um, come together and um, and just appreciate what we have, appreciate life, and that's really the the message of this video is to appreciate life and, um, and abundantly and, and hold true to, um, to truth and also hold true to compassion and caring for others even if they disagree with you and even if they have different views than you. Uh, I think it's just important because I think we can all agree that a lot of the senseless violence and... Uh, that occurs, it shatters all lives, um, even, the lo even the lives of those who agree with you in many cases. <clears throat> you know, Muslims are the, are the victim, are the greatest group, the victims of terrorism, of Islamic t extremism, uh, and, you know, the people who do mass shootings, they're indiscriminate. They shoot everyone. Men, women, children, uh, Second Amendment, pro-Second Amendment people. You know, there's a, there's a lot of people that die. It's indiscriminate. It's senseless. That's why it's senseless violence. So hold true. And uh, I want to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to listen to this message. Post your thoughts. I just think it's a time that uh, we should come together. And appreciate each other as, as human beings and, uh, and appreciate what we are as a community. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching.